Uh, there's a little story we had, if I can tell, indulge you. Uh, because I'm in Melbourne, I'm allowed to tell a Packer story. And although I'm, I'm close enough to the casino, they might hear me. But myself and Mark went to an event. Um, it was a football game. We loved our footy. And we were using footy to get close to certain key people in Sydney. And we went in there and it was a, dra a, a Roosters versus Rabbitohs game. And the Rabbitohs had just come back into the competition. They were easy beats at that point in time. And Mr Packer, and I'll still call him that out of respect, uh, was a well-known supporter of both clubs. But he was also a well-known uh, supporter of putting shit on people when you walked into these events because you weren't right to be in that environment. You hadn't been really invited by the Glitterati. You were there as a hanger-on. Myself and Mark and a few others walked in. And he said, um, as we walked in, I want to back the Rabbitohs to Burris. You're a Johnny-come-lately. Um, go ahead and back him. And I'm standing next to him as a young 26-year-old and thinking, you know, that's a pretty fair bet. You know, the, the rabbits are no chance today. And he said, no, no, Mr Packer, I can't take that bet. At half-time in that game, uh, the Roosters were up 20 nil, And they were killing him, every part of the field. Anyone from City understand that the, the scale of 20 nil it would be like, you know, up by uh, seven or eight goals in AFL. The key to that is that 20 nil he comes up and says, Burris, you no good so-and-so Greek. I want to have a bet, 100,000 on the rabbits. And Mark Lung said, Mr Packer, I, I won't take that bet. He said, you peahart. He said, what are you made of? He said, all these people who are listening, they can't see, they can see that you've got no strength behind you. Why don't you back your team? I'm giving you 100,000 laid out. He said, Mr Packer, I can't take the bet. He then said, I'll give you 10 start, 30 nil. And I'm standing next going, I'll give 50 of that. Um, we had no chance of being able to pay this bet, working out how we're going to pay the salary next week. We're in the middle of thinking about trying to do a deal with the Packer organisation because we love the nine assets. We thought, what a great way to promote our story. And Mark looked at me and said, I'm sorry, I can't afford to take that bet. Now, again, young kid didn't quite understand what that meant, but it meant I can't afford to lose it because I don't have the 100,000, but I can't afford to be showing you that I'm opportunistic, mm. that I'll take that bet. And I also want to show that I've got the strength to resolve not to take the bet in front of the others. I'm not being bullied into it. Um, nice way to get a lesson. And uh, when I started saying during that press, let's take the bet, he told me to shut up. Um, I do the same thing now to some of my young colleagues that work on my team. But I learn a lot from those instances. And, you know, when you're in that Packer environment, you learn pretty quickly.